Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're gonna take a look to the new release of Yolo V9, brand this new model from the Yolo family. Last few days, released a new version officially on the Yolo family package Ultralytics. And this new video actually is just a few hours ago, it's like three hours ago, so it's brand new. I'm gonna show you in this video two ways how you can train the Yolo V9 on a custom data set using two methods. The first one is provided from Ultralytics, which in this symbol code over here, I'm gonna show you how you can do it using our, our RoboFlow Universe data set. I'm gonna show you also how you can select the data set. And the other way is the old way, and I'm gonna show you how you can start with it and which blog post that you should follow if you want to do the old way. So without further ado, let's take a look to our data set. I'm using the universe, the troubleflow.com. Go ahead and make your account and open the universe and search for anything that you want, but it have to be a mo with a model, you'll be it, and it's made for object detection. If it, you didn't do that, you're gonna get error when you are training the model. So be very careful when you select in your dataset. And when you want to download it, just select the Yolo V9. All right, continue, and it will give you this code. You copy this code and be careful that you don't share your API key or RoboFlow over here. It's gonna basically be reused by other people. All right, that's enough talking. Let's take a look to our real code. I'm gonna show you the first method, the easiest one from Ultralytics. There is no, not a lot of typing of code inside it. It's very easy to do. So. Yeah, we're gonna install, of course, Ultralytics, RoboFlow, and Supervision for if you want to basically display the image and play with it in the term of annotation style. Uh, Supervision is one of the best library right now in computer vision that help you a lot on the rewritten, basically, boilerplate for each project. And I made two videos about it. Check it over here in the channel. I'm gonna leave this link in description for it. Supervision is supported by RoboFlow, so don't worry about it. Basically, it's a bad library or not. First thing we're going to do is installing our dataset. We're gonna burst the three lines of download over here and write it like this robo.login. And if you hit this, it's gonna tell you basically to go to another page, which and a page that you have to, it's gonna give you a link and you have to go inside that page of this link, copy this token and bolt it inside the box. And voila, you have your dataset is downloaded inside your Google Collab. There is two ways that we can do that from Ultralytics. The first one from the build Yolo V model from scratch, not using this. I'm using the second one, which is the known common one, is using the Yolo V9 C model. Ultralytics provide you two ways for doing this. The first one is providing a model from scratch, the Yolo V9 from the scratch by using the 9 the channel or build a Yolo V9 model from Breed in Dwight, which what which was we are going to do it basically. So I'm using the Yolo V9. See, there is different actually version of it. We have the E and C and M and S and T. This is a different model that we can use. And it's, in terms of performance, it's really cool. Yolo V9 right now support only two things, object detection, and segmentation for segmentation there is only c and e and you have to append the seg for segmentation for it but for object detection is basically that's what the model that we have right now the t and s and m and c and e and i is in the code here i'm using the c you can print out the model info and you can see the layer and summary of it and how it's but like when you get to the train it's straightforward and simply you have to just abandon the data YAML file that you have inside this line. Model the train, abandon the YAML file, and the ebox that you want, just 10 ebox, just for the sake of the tutorial, so I can make it faster, and the image size. And it will hit enter in a few minutes. Actually, it have been been done. The entire model have been trained and created for me. And it tell me here it's saved in runs, detect train four. And this is inside the Yolo V8 folder, which I will show you why I did it like this. But in your case, you don't need to basically create a folder and all the stuff 
if you are using the first model it's inside runs detect three and four and inside weights we are gonna find our model which is the, the best the bt and of course we can see or over the results over bng over here the loss is going down the precision uh yeah it's all right the matrix the loss okay 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 it's decent results for a 10 ebook what i'm using in this data set is basically a data set for fish you can pick whatever what you want but as i told you you need to follow the guideline that they told you select the view and it have to be object detection back to our code let's close this after the train we can right now start using with an image all you have to do is use a supervision if you want to is select the image that you want inside the image read and pass this image to the model that we created and create the detection of it i kind of made it like this so i can see the detection of it as you can see here it tell me the detection inside this image is an fish this image that i got from the web and it detected this image inside it so i made the supervision small code that will display this entire detection for me and the detection itself give me more information about confident layer and the type of flow the class id the tracker all the stuff and class name as you can see is over here you can use the stuff if you want to extract the data itself not display the image then the annotation image and you can display the image either by matplotlib or supervision and until now we are done with the first basically part of how you can train the yolo v9 using the alter analytics it's very simple and easy but if you want to learn how you can use the older way i'm going to show you also this when yolo v9 came out it didn't have an official bison package or any wrapper around it we have to use to install the project repository itself and there is already current repository maintained by roboflow itself and it had fixed a bug inside it that was preventing us to interact with the interface and to download it it's very straightforward let's go to the code we have to install this rebo from roboflow actually i know this guy he's very good in computer vision i follow him in linkedin and youtube he's a wonderful person to follow if you want to learn about more about computer vision we install it and the install requirement and we download all this weight from the original rebo of yolo v9 which is the robo over here i'm gonna leave the link of description for both this and the blog post and the alter analytics and the data set also in the description and as you can see here the yolo v9 is outperforming all the model based on the coco object detection data set performance so we're gonna set up this kind of image to put it inside this directory of yolo v9 and i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna put it in the uh, data folder two dogs on walk gbg and this gonna run it using the yolo 9 and when you run it you can call it over here as you can see it detected it's a very small a dog and a person like this is the percentage level 29 64 and it's sure about its person 29 right now you had to go to the directory of yolo v9 and right now you have to install the roboflow that is it once more i mean like if you wanted to follow this example you don't have to basically reinstall it it's already installed above but this is the separated code from the old way of how you can train it and simply put it you can get to the data yaml get the you know where it is and basically you just have to bring this code but in your case you might want to change the ebook or the batch size or the image size in this training it took it a lot of a few more minutes but honestly in my test i found the ultra analytics training much faster when it's been working on it and after this training done we can call the training where it is it's inside it's gonna tell you it's inside run train the experiment three and you can base this here and you can see inside it all the files of course we have to see the loss and the percentage and all the stuff the percentage is not that good honestly in the end but yeah it's best one is over here and you can see here i this I run one of the images inside the folder that we trained to see it's going to detect the images or not and right now we need to to validate our own model 
By the way, if you want to train, you have to run the YOLO v9 over here, YOLO v9 train Python file inside our folder, YOLO v9 that we installed and give it all these commands that you want to control with. If you can increase the batch size if you wanted to or make it smaller, it's really depend on the GPU that you have. And for validation, you have to pass the validation file and give it the image size, the batch and confidence level that you want to check for and IO threshold. And it will give you the validation that it went through. So here, as you can see, it, they give you the classes that it have, the images, the instance, the geometrics of each one that it went through. And now we can start working on detecting by running also the Bison file detect. As you can see, it's more difficult the older way, more than the new one using Ultralytics. But you can use this if you want to also. So I'm give you an option over here. After running this, we can go here and run the image base and give it the examples inside the folders of the experiment and display it. As you can see here, we have a bunch of images that will give you the detection that it found inside the image. It's very, very simple, straightforward also here. And for this, you can pass any source image that you want for detection and any model that you want for also detecting this kind of image. So that's it for this video. If you wanted to basically learn more about supervision, there is two videos over here. And I really recommend you to check the Ultralytics new blog post about Yolo V9. And also you can watch this video, but it basically just following the entire blog here. Didn't train it on a real data set, it trained it on Koku data set which is all right also and for now i think the ultralytics way is a little bit better honestly but it make uh, it make the training much much easier and if you want to learn more about the old way how 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 it's been have been done before the ultralytics version release you can check this blog post it's very wonderful also learn more about it over here I'm going to leave all the link in the description, please. If you like this video, hit on the like button and subscribe and see you on the next video. Bye bye.